Hey everyone, Reese here, and you may well remember this. This is my Neo Geo AES joystick, and I bought it to use with my arcade boards with my Supergun. And in this new series, I'm going to show you how to use it with a whole lot more. If you're not familiar with this joystick, it was the controller that was shipped with the Neo Geo AES, which was a Japanese home games console that was released in 1990. Now, the AES was famous for two things, uh, being very expensive and having some of the best home arcade conversions. The reason behind both of these things is that the console hardware was essentially identical to SNK's Neo Geo MVS arcade machines, and that same attitude also influenced the design of the joystick. You see, this stick is widely considered to be one of the best first-party controllers ever made, and the reason behind this is because it was made with proper arcade buttons and a short-throw microswitch joystick, just like a real arcade machine. I bought this from a Japanese auction site for around 20 quid, and it was in pretty disgusting condition, but it was all in good working order, so I stripped it down and gave it a clean, uh, fitted some new feet, and it's practically as good as new. I really love using this joystick, and it got me thinking about how I could put together some simple adapters so I could use it with my other computers and games consoles. I spent some time researching pinouts for the various joystick ports and putting together some schematics. My goal with this project was to do this as cheaply and simply as possible by using these breakout connectors and some simple passive components. So in a first for this channel, I'm launching my very own multi-part series. We're going to be starting simple, and we're going to be getting more advanced as we go along. In this first episode, I'm going to show you how to build a very simple adapter to connect the SNK Neo Geo joystick to anything that uses the Atari joystick standard, including Atari's own 2600, their 8-bit home computers, the ST and so on, Commodore machines including the VIC-20, 64, 128 and Amiga, and even the Spectrum with a Kempston compatible interface. This adapter will also make the stick mostly compatible with the Master System, Mega Drive and MSX computers, but you'll only be able to use one button. I'll show you how to build a fully compatible adapter in the next episode. In this video I'll also show you a small modification that you can make to the adapter to make the joystick even more usable. Anyone who's a long term follower of the channel and familiar with my CX78 mod video will probably know what to expect. So without further ado, let's get started. I actually bought a 9 pin female breakout connector, but due to the design of some of the machines I'm using here it wouldn't reliably plug into most of the sockets. So I'm going to have to cannibalise an old joystick for its cable. I had this broken Commodore joystick that I got in a box full of bits a while back, so it seemed like an ideal donor. After disassembling the joystick and cleaning the cable, I needed to confirm which wire went to which pin, so I used my multimeter. This is where I ran into my first issue. Try as I might, I couldn't get continuity on either the blue or green wires, which should have been pins 2 and 3, or down and left. I assume this is why the joystick didn't work and ended up in a box of junk. I wanted to check that the fault wasn't due to a break in the cable itself somewhere, so I cut it as short as I could, but still got nothing. Thankfully I had an old Atari joystick that's been awaiting a cable replacement due to some damage to the insulator towards the plug end. It won't give me a very long cable, but at least all of the pins seem to work in this one, so that's what I'll be using. On the joystick side, I'll be basing all of these adapters around a male DA or DB15 connector. If you want to order one of these, make sure you don't end up with a DE15, which is most commonly used as a VGA connector. I'll be using this one to put together a joystick adapter for the Atari Jaguar in a future video. Now it's just a case of wiring up the pins as per the diagram. Electrically this is the simplest of all of the adapters I'll be putting together, with up going to up, down to down, and so on. As the Atari joystick only originally had one button, I'll leave a lot of the buttons on the Neo Geo stick unused, unless you want to connect all of them up to pin 6 of the Atari connector with some small jumper wires, but I didn't bother. Now to test this with some of my systems. This is miles better than the standard Atari joystick for my favourite Atari 2600 games like Ms Pac-Man.
River Raid. And Jungle Hunt. The same goes for some of the great Atari 8-bit home computer arcade conversions like Donkey Kong here. And another one of my all-time favourites, Frogger. Like I mentioned before, this mod also works with the Amiga, which is something of a first for my channel. Yep, I do indeed own an Amiga. But hey, it's been getting on for 40 years now, maybe we can finally bury the hatchet and learn to live together in peace? Unfortunately, as you can see, my Amiga needs some work, hopefully something I can address in the near future. Finally, the Atari ST. As you can see, it works really great here too. But there's a further mod I want to do, and if you've seen my CX78 gamepad video you'll probably know what's coming next. You see, by adding a small jumper wire connecting the B button of the Neo Geo stick to the up joystick direction, we now have a button that can be used as an accelerator for racing games and as a jump button for platformers, making a great joystick even better. Now in Bubble Bobble on the Atari ST and other platformers of course, instead of pressing up to jump we can press the B button on the arcade stick. Or in Buggy Boy we can hold down B instead of holding forwards to accelerate all the time. Of course, it even works on the 2600 in games like Pole Position. So there we go, a really useful little adapter that really helps to transform the playability of these old computers and consoles. And of course, because I haven't modified the joystick itself, it means it still works with my super guns, and it should work with a Neo Geo AES should I ever get my hands on one. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm working on adapters for the Master System, MSX and Mega Drive for my next video, and further down the line I'll show you how to build adapters for the Atari Jaguar, 5200 and even the PC. If that's something that you'd like to see, please do consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any suggestions for adapters you'd like to see for other systems, then please let me know down in the comments. I'm more than happy to look at them, and uh, may even tackle a few and turn them into a future video. If you enjoyed this video, then as always I'd very much appreciate a thumbs up, it helps me to increase my audience and to grow my channel. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon for some more retro gaming and computing shenanigans.